What's up everybody, this is Smarty P from SmartyPantsCoding.com and this is just a quick demo to show you how to do uh, custom unwind segues using Xamarin.iOS. I'm just going to go ahead and make a new solution and choose iOS, iPhone, single view application. I'm just going to call it Custom Unwind Segue App. Now if you've done any segues before, uh, you probably know your kind of traditional segue uh, is to just push in a new view. Well what I want to do is I want to still push in a new view if you uh, click on one button, but I want to make a custom segue that if you click on that button it pushes off to the other way, uh, or to the other side rather. And then I also want to have a custom unwind segue that brings it back in that same sort of animation. And so I'm just going to walk you through how to do that here. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and delete the uh, view controller get out of the box and I'll delete its uh, its uh, backing class over here okay so I've got a fresh clean storyboard and uh, what I want to do is actually have a navigation controller uh, and have the ability to still push things onto my navigation controller and pop them off uh, but use custom segues as I do uh, and so the first thing I need to do is actually to subclass my UI navigation controller because what we're going to actually do is override some methods uh, some methods rather that uh, tell uh, the app what segue to use whenever it's unwinding from or whenever you're popping a view off of the view controller, off of the navigation view controller. So I'm going to uh, give it a class name here and just call it uh, custom navigation controller. Okay. And then over here for my root view controller, I'm going to name this one home view controller. And what I want to do is have two different buttons on here. I want to have a right button and a left button. And if you tap on the one on the left, I want to use a custom segue that animates it off to the left. And if you use the one on the right, then I want to use the built-in push segue to push it off to the right. And so I'm going to name this button right button. I'm going to change the text on it to just say right. And then here for the left button, I'm going to name this left button. And I'm going to change its text to say left. And so if you've done segues before, you probably know it's pretty easy to push to a new view uh, once you have your navigation controller set up. So what I'm going to do here is uh, add a new view controller. And this one will be my left one that gets shown when we hit the left button. And then I'll add another one. And this one will be my right view controller that gets shown when we click that right button. And so I'm just going to select this view controller uh, and name it right view controller. I'm going to select this left one and choose left view controller. Okay, uh, and then from here to wire up the push to the right, it's just like you know it normally would be. You hold down Control and drag here and say push, right? And so now if we were to run it on our simulator, if we were to click that right button, then it will push us into uh, that navigation controller, right? And then the back button brings us back. Well, I actually want to hide this navigation controller because when we click the left one, instead of going off to the right like this, I want it to go the opposite direction. And obviously a back button up at the top would be not make a lot of sense, right? If anything, I may want to use a, a custom uh, navigation controller button that says back over on the right maybe. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to hide that view controller, and we're just going to make all of our uh, buttons custom there. So I'm going to select our navigation controller and turn off this shows navigation navigation bar. Okay. And what I need to do uh, is I need to uh, wire up a button on our right view controller. And I'm just going to make its text say back. And then I'm going to change it to be back button. Okay. And I'm actually going to go ahead while I'm here and just do the same thing on this left one. I'm going to put it on the right hand side. It'll make a little more sense why once you actually see all the animations and such. So I'm also going to say back and I'm going to call it back button as well. Okay. And I'm just going to save this and go ahead and close it. I want to restructure some of my code. I like to uh, kind of put all my view controllers in a view controller folder. So I'm just going to make a view controllers folder and real quick move all these view controllers into it. And another thing I want to do is go ahead and add a new folder for my segues because like I said we're going to use some custom segues. And so I'm just going to go ahead and make a folder there for that. Now, uh, now that I've done that I can actually come into our right view controller and override the view did load. 
so that I can wire up to that button that we created, which I think we just called back button. Oh, we may not have named it. Let me go back to the storyboard and name it real quick. So I'm going to name this button here. It is back button. Make sure that we put one on here and that it's called back button as well. Okay. And this is left view controller. And this is right view controller. Okay. So yeah, I should have a back button. It may not want to show up. So let me just go ahead and build and see why that's not showing up. It's weird the IntelliSense isn't working. All right, but in any event, from here, I'm just going to say navigation controller and say uh, pop view controller animated and say true. And so now if we run it, we should see where on the right view controller, if I click that button, it should uh, pop us off of the stack. And there we go. And so what we want to do is we want the right one to use this transition, but we want to make a custom transition for the left one. And so uh, in the segways folder here, I'm actually going to go ahead and add uh, some files into that folder. Uh, and these will be included in an open source project that will be out on uh, GitHub as well. So let me just go find those real quick. Okay, so if I come over here and add my files, I have some that I've gone ahead and put out there. And you can look at the code on how to build a custom segue. That's not really the important piece here, or not the harder piece that's harder to figure out. So uh, I've got my two uh, segues in here now, right? Okay, and so what I want to do is jump back into my storyboard. And whenever I drag from the left button onto this controller, I want to choose custom instead of a regular push. And when I do that, if I select the segue, you'll see here it says segue class. And I'm going to type in left to right segue, which is the name of my custom segue class over here. Okay. And so uh, let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. So you see here when I click that left, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but it actually went off. Uh, to the, the opposite side of the right. So I'm just going to run it again to make sure you see that. So the right goes off this way, but the left goes off that way. Okay. But now we need to wire up this back button. Okay. And so if I were to come in here to that left, uh, I'm sorry, to the left view controller and actually just put in this same uh, class so that it pops off the view controller, uh, let's see what that does. So the right looks like this, right? But the left looks like that. But when I hit back, you see that's the wrong transition, okay? And so the first point to make here is that, yes, you can use custom segues, but that doesn't mean that inherently uh, the iOS system will unwind that segue without a little bit of extra work. And so that's kind of where I ran into a stumbling block, and so that's why I wanted to create this video. So uh, what I want to do from here is actually go to our custom navigation controller. And so you remember we, uh, we, we overrode uh, the class that we're using. We made a custom subclass for our navigation controller, our custom navigation controller. Right, And what I need to do here is to actually override a method in here. And the method in here is called get segue for unwinding. Okay. And I'm just going to uh, paste a little bit of code into here real quick and then we can go over it. I'm going to get rid of the base implementation and just put this in here. Need to resolve that namespace there. Okay, and so you see here, whenever get segue for unwinding gets called, it's going to just new up a new right to left segue, which is the opposite of the left to right one we used for transitioning into the new view controller. And I'm going to return that segue instead. Okay. So I'm just going to save that. Now that in and of itself actually doesn't do anything. Okay, there's one more piece we need to do, and that's to come to the home view controller here. 
And in the home view controller, you need to define a custom action that fits uh, this signature here. And if you do any research online uh, in Objective-C on how to do uh, custom on wine segues, you'll see references to this and you'll see people mention this in the Xamarin forums as well. Uh, and basically this just gives you an action that you can attach to for your unwind segue. Okay, and so now that I've added this action, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the storyboard. And from here, what I can do to do a custom unwind action is drag this, uh, is control drag this back button onto exit. Okay, and when I do that, this here, this action segue, this returned, that's the name of that action we just made in our home view controller. So I'm just going to pick that. Okay, and just again to kind of reinforce that our home view controller, we define this custom action. Okay, and once we define that custom action in our storyboard, if we drag from our button to the exit button, that's when we'll see that option for uh, the name of that action that we defined. And that's actually kind of the magic uh, glue that's required to attach a button to an exit event to make it uh, run a custom unwind segue. And so what's going to happen is when you click this back button, uh, it's going to exit and in turn call our get segue for unwinding. Okay, And that's where we're newing up our custom segue and using that. And so if I run this now, we should actually be able to see our, our custom unwind segue. So right looks like this and left looks like that. Okay, And so now not only do I have a custom segue, but we have a custom unwind segue as well. Uh, one thing to point out before I wrap up, you'll see here I've got a note here that says that the identifier that gets passed into this get segue for unwinding method can't be null. And so I'm making sure if it is that I'm setting it to string.empty. Uh, if you use Xcode's interface builder, you actually get uh, one more feature that you're probably going to want to be familiar with for these custom unwind segues. So I'm just going to open this storyboard in Xcode and kind of point that out. So here you see the same thing we had in Xamarin Studio. Uh, but one thing that's different is you see over here this option here, unwind segue from back to exit. Okay, And that's actually the segue we made when we drug the back to the exit button. And you see over here it lists that action, the returned one that we made, and it has an identifier field. And so what I'm going to do is just type in here uh, left view back button ID and I'll just copy that so I have it and I'll save this uh, storyboard and return back to Xamarin Studio. And now that I've done that uh, I'm just going to put a breakpoint here and what you should see is whenever we run uh, the identifier will get passed into this get segue for unwinding. And so you'll see my identifier here is set to left view back button ID like we named it in Xcode. And what that lets us do is now if we have multiple different custom unwind segues that are used in our app, we can actually come in here in our code and we can maybe switch off of that identifier, right? We can say switch on the identifier and say, hey, if it's this, uh, then we want to return this sort of segue. But maybe if you have another custom unwind segue you want to do somewhere else, uh, or if you have a different uh, unwind segue that you're using by default, then you can new up that uh, segue here and return that instead. Okay, And so that's really all I wanted to show here was just that capability to be able to do uh, custom unwind segues. It was a little bit hard for me to find out uh, just trying to look it up online. And so uh, I created this video. There's going to be a blog post that goes along with it as well, as well as a GitHub project uh, that will show you uh, or give you sample code you can download. Uh, one thing also to point out in the sample that I'm going to put out on GitHub, uh, there will actually be two projects in it because one project, this one we're looking at here, is using a base uh, navigation controller and we're doing our segues within that navigation controller. But the other example that I'm going to provide on GitHub will show you how to do uh, custom segues and custom unwind segues if you're not working within a navigation controller. So I hope you check that out and you know if you have any uh, feedback or any suggestions, please do feel free to submit pull requests and that sort of stuff on Git. All right, thanks for watching. Again, this is Smarty P from Smarty Pants Coding, and this has been a quick uh, screencast on how to do custom un unwind segues using Xamarin.ios. All right, thanks for watching.